In this video, we're going to complete example one. It says that a group of eight students completed the same quiz, which had five questions to complete. The results are below. So two students got three out of five questions correct, five students got four out of five questions correct, and only one student got all the questions correct. Question A says, construct a dot plot to represent the results of this quiz. And I've drawn a line to the right here, and what I'm going to do is, I really just need the numbers 3, 4, and 5, and that's all you really have to do. But I think I'll put 1 and 2 in there anyway. It's not a big deal. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now, only two students got three marks out of five, so we'll put two dots for that. Notice that we're not putting any dots on the one or the two. We also had five students that got four out of five answers correct. Five. And finally, only one student got five out of five correct. Now, when we look at it, we can see that we've got our bell curve. It's not perfectly symmetrical, but it's almost symmetrical. Question B says, calculate the mean, the median, and the mode. Now, we'll start with the median and the mode because they're going to be the easiest ones to calculate. I always like to start with the easier ones if I can. The median is the halfway point. So looking at my numbers, the halfway point is here where I put my red line. And halfway between 4 and 4 is the number 4. So our median is 4. The mode is the most common number. We can see that the 4 occurs the most, either by looking at our list of numbers here or even by looking at our dot plot. So mode is 4. So let's now find the mean. Bringing up our calculator, we first add our scores here. So 3 plus 3 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, plus 4, and finally add the 5, and we get 31. Now we have 8 scores here, so we need to divide this by 8, giving us 3.875. I'm going to round that to 3.9. Now if this is normally distributed data, and if it makes a bell curve, then we've been told that the median, mode, and mean should all be the same then why is it that the mean is slightly different to the median and mode? When we look at our graph and think about that bell shape, you might notice that it's not perfectly symmetrical. It's almost symmetrical, but not perfect. And as we mentioned in a previous video, if it's not perfectly symmetrical, then quite often your mean will just be slightly different to the other two. And that's okay, that's normal. So question C says, this is an example of normally distributed data, meaning it makes a bell curve. Why was the mean different to the median and mode? Well, as we just said, it's not perfectly symmetrical. So we'll say that our graph is not perfectly symmetrical, so the mean is only slightly different. Anyway, that concludes our video on example one. Remember to read the description below for links to workbooklets that relate to this video.